What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of my World Cup series. This is episode number 48 and today guys we have indeed changed the team around as well to begin the episode off with. Uh, Sakai who's actually a right back is going to play left back so I can now drop that 66 rated left back to the reserves. He's not he's like bad he can't get on the bench anymore. Um, yeah Sakai is going to play, uh, play left back even though he is a right back and the chemistry will only be 6 for him. The reason I've done that is because that 66 rated left back is awful and Sakai's got a 4 star weak foot so I'm sure he'll be okay there even if the chemistry Street isn't going to be the best, but anyway, we get ourselves back into the group stages after losing in the round of 16 uh, in the last episode. So we're back into the group stages and trying to get ourselves through it again in our second attempt to win the World Cup with this Asian Confederation. We come against this 86 rated 100 chemistry 451 team to begin with, some, uh, with some great players such as Neuer and Lahm and Diego Costa and so on and so forth. And the first chance would fall to my opponent as you would expect here in the ninth minute as Costa finds Lahm. Lahm, the right back, goes through and the shot is well saved by Ramity as he tips it behind for a corner and we're also playing a 4-4-2 I think I, I think I forgot to mention that we changed to a 4-4-2 now as well uh, as opposed to the uh, previous formation which is a 4-1-2-1-2 so we're now 4-2 uh, sorry 4-4-2 now and uh, well unfortunately my opponent would take the lead in the 10th minute there Barzagli's header looped over my goalkeeper and into the back of the net I have to say I think my goalkeeper should have saved it really unless you're a really small goalkeeper and unless you've got the worst jump in the world you should probably not be getting looped with a header like that that was going at such a slow pace but still 1-0 to my opponent and in the 32nd minute I go through here down the right and tell Tim Cahill but unfortunately Neuer makes a really good save to the him at the near post and puts it behind for a corner so still 1-0 and from that corner Honda crosses the ball in Lee Dong Guk wins the header but again Neuer makes a save and it is cleared away so still 1-0 but at least I had a chance there and uh, from that I passed the ball away over Cheetah it comes straight to Pogba my defence is all over the place Pogba plays a, uh, a defence splitting through ball to Diego Costa who rounds my goalkeeper and just ends up putting it into the open net so yeah, I was kind of annoyed there. It was my fault for giving the ball away, yes. But uh, even so, I'm not really sure why my defence seems to split down the middle. And obviously, when Diego Costa ran clear 1-1, I thought my goalkeeper should do a little bit better other than just sort of coming out and letting him go round him. Uh, you know, maybe at least try and you know go in two-footed if you want. Just not sort of just let him walk past you. But even so, 2-0 to my opponent. And the 44th minute had a chance there, but Lee dong shot went wide the post and out for a goal kick. And in the second half, unfortunately, my opponent scored his third goal from a corner. He crossed it in and he made it 3-0 with Bruno Alves I think it was getting a the goal there to make it 3-0 so very very poor defensively from me and I was just all over the place in this game I really was and as I've mentioned before you know the biggest problem I've got with a team is defensively I can't seem to stop the uh, the opponents from scoring the goals which believe it or not is quite important and to be honest my defense was just all over the place and I wasn't having a good game I mean you can just see me making loads and loads of slide challenges there before Pogba puts the winner back in the net when it got to 3-0 I just thought the game's over I can't really do anything Pogba made it 4 nil there and my opponent was doing you know just doing what he needed to do you know he was sensing I was getting frustrated all he had to do was just you know basically just play to my frustration and he could get himself a really handsome scoreline in this game and at 4 nil up you couldn't really say that was uh, you know not deserved he was playing much better than me and I was playing really poorly I did have a few attempts as well you know Neuer was having, uh, making a couple of good saves I did have quite a few attempts but unfortunately I just couldn't seem to score the goals you know despite how many opportunities I got Neuer was making the saves and my opponent was defending quite well but still at 4 nil the game was over and any goal I would have scored would have been a consolation regardless and from this corner from Honda it's crossed in we do get a goal here through Tim Cahill I think it was or possibly Lee Dong you know it was Tim Cahill his header was uh, only flapped out by Neuer and went into the top corner so 4-1 I was glad to get myself a consolation goal but again as I said you know I could score the goals there's no problem with scoring the goals but defensively I just concede an absolute bucket load every single game and Diego Costa then makes it 5-1 here and unfortunately for us with 10 minutes to go the embarrassment isn't over yet because just a few minutes later Diego Costa finds Pedro. Pedro runs through the centre. My, my defence is just so weak. It's so slow. I can't keep up. And my goalkeeper there, I don't think should be getting beaten really, but Pedro there makes it 6-1. I'm all over the place. And in the 90th minute, he sees Yoshida get on the ball for us. And I just, I, I mean, what am I doing there? Do you know what I mean? What am I doing? Possibly a debate over whether that should mean a foul or not, but it wasn't given. And my opponent does end up making it 7-1 here in the 90th minute. So, yeah, I had an absolutely diabolical game. I played terribly. That's one of the worst I've ever played, if not the worst I've played during this World Cup series. And, you know, you can't really blame me too much because this team is severely under strength, especially when I'm matching up against these opponents. But even so, I played really, really terribly. And it, it's just, you know, I guess I'm feeling like Brazil with a scoreline like that. But it's just, it's really frustrating, though, because I know I can score goals with this team. You know, I've scored in every single game I've played in so far, um, you know, with this confederation, despite it being quite weak. Yeah, it's just defensively, and you know, that's the big problem. I can't seem to defend with this confederation. The defenders, not 
strong enough, they're not quick enough, they're not physically good enough, not technically good enough, they're just not good enough. The goalkeeper's pretty terrible in my opinion. I don't really know what to do to keep the clean sheets or just to keep more, you know, keep less goals being scored than seven. You know, I don't really know what to do at all to be honest, but um yeah, we lost the game 7-1. I feel as though I probably should have scored one or two more goals to reduce the goal deficit, but even so, I did lose the game. I deserved to get battered, and um, yeah, I guess I just left the game feeling like Brazil was scoring line like that, but uh, even so, after that, I uh, decided to go ahead and open a pack as well, uh, as I've now ticked over to 5k coins, and of course, every time I hit 5k coins now, I'll buy a pack, because I may as well. You know, we're into our last confederation. There's no point saving the coins up anymore. We may as well just keep on buying the packs until we get some better players, and um, yeah, We'll hope for the best really but unfortunately we didn't really get anyone we can use from this confederation we've got Neuer uh, which is quite quite an insult to be honest considering how play how well he played in the last game and of course I can't use him but um even so we can't really use anyone from that pack and uh, that's just one of those things but I've also changed the formation again uh, after that terrible game clearly the 4-4-2 wasn't going to work I'm going to play a 4-5-1 now and I've dropped Lee Dong Gook to the bench because he's just terrible and uh, Kawashima is going to come in and play in goal instead of Ramity because I wasn't a fan of him and also Brett Holman is going to play CM as well because he's got high high work rates and as I said Lee Dong Gook goes to the bench because he's just awful he really is and um, as well Kawashima coming in for Ramity is the other change there because the goal Goalkeeper I've been using has just been terrible, and hopefully he'll be better. Despite the fact you'd argue that uh, Ramsey has better card stats, hopefully Kawashima will perform better in game. But um, yeah, I'm going to switch to a 4 5 1, and hopefully the reason I've done that is so I can hopefully crowd the midfield out and stop my opponents from just walking through me, really, like they've been doing so far. We come against this team, 87 rated 100 chemistry for the second game of today's episode 4 1 2 1 2. Neuer in goal, back four of our Mary, David Luiz, Thiago Silva, and Danny Alves. He's got Ramirez in there, he's also got Di Maria, Valencia, Suarez, Sanchez, a very, very decent team. And to be honest, I wasn't really fancying my chances, especially after the battering I just got, but even so, the first chance would fall to to us in the third minute as Keith Young Young rolls it through towards Tim Cahill. My opponent fails to get the ball away with David Luiz. It eventually gets crossed into the box and Tim Cahill makes it 1-0 in the third minute. So absolutely fantastic start there. We're already 1-0 up and looking like we'll do a lot better than our last game. Very pleased to take the early lead. And in the 10th minute, my opponent almost equalised through Suarez, but thankfully for us, Kawashima denies him and we managed to get the ball away. So still 1-0. But in the 28th minute, another good chance for us here as Honda beats his man in the air, goes through the centre offloads it to Cahill, Cahill plays that wide towards Shinji Kagawa, lovely little fake shot, slides it into Tim Cahill to make it 2-1, no, uh, sorry 2-0, no, Noya makes the save but as we cross the ball into the centre, Honda wins it and we are now 2-0 up, so Honda gets the goal, we are 2-0 in front, a fantastic, fantastic start in this game, after the battery we got in the last game I really was uh, pleased with how we were playing and we are 2-0 up, but in the 36th minute my opponent would get himself back in the game and I have to say my goalkeeper again, in my opinion he really should have saved that. You know, it's a powerful effort by Suarez, but it's pretty much straight at him, and unfortunately, he parries it into his own goal, and it is 2 1. So, Suarez gets my opponent back in the game, and unfortunately for us, our two goal cushion has been surrendered. But in the 43rd minute, Ki Sung Young collects the ball down the right hand side, takes on Almero, beats him with the step over, then a lovely piece of skill to get himself inside, but the shot hits the post and we can't force it in as it comes to Honda with the shot is blocked. So that was a real shame. I almost made it 3-1, but unfortunately we're still 2-1. Half time, and my opponent brings on Ronaldo, Robin, and Benzema off the bench. What a fantastic trio to bring on off the bench that is. But uh, in the 77th minute, we almost made it 3-1 here as Tim Cahill finds Shinji Kagawa. Kagawa plays it back towards Honda as I was trying to see the game out with some short passes, but as Honda finds Kagawa down the left-hand side, we pick out Tim Cahill. He goes through 1-1, one one, but I completely messed up the finish, and it goes behind for a goal kick. So still 2 one and in the 84th minute we were doing everything we could to hold on to this win here as we kick the ball forward with our goalkeeper Ki Sung Young collects it finds Brett Holman in the team for his debut and he goes through and makes it 3-1 so Brett Holman gets the goal it's 3-1 to us and that was how the game would finish so maybe just maybe we finally found a formation we want in a 4-5-1 because I played so well in this game and you know, I really did I I'm going to use a phrase here called don't break formation that's pretty much what I was saying to myself all through the game. I played really, really well. I held my opponent to sort of uh, restrict his shots from outside the area. I felt as though I deserved the win. I got it by three goals to one. Very, very pleased with that. And uh, in our second game, we redeem ourselves after getting bad in the first. We win the game. And just like in the uh, last attempt, in the final game, we have one win and one loss. And hopefully, we'll be able to get the points or three points we need to go through to the World Cup round of 16. And as always, guys, a big thank you for watching the video. I really hope you have enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed the episode, please do leave a like. 
like, and I'll see you for the next episode of my World Cup series, which will of course be the final group stage game very soon.